What's up guys, Clinton Jones here, AKA The Punisher, here with uh, another quick tip for Rocket Jump Film School. Today we're gonna talk about how to implement a realistic camera shake into a shot that was shot maybe on a tripod, or maybe it's just a picture. For example, like I did a video a long time ago of two billboards that were stacked on top of each other, and it was too hard to track. And then I did what I'm about to show you guys, and it looks good. It looks real, it looks like video. This needs to have realistic camera shake. How do you get realistic camera shake? So let's, that's what we're talking about. Let's jump in. So, we got a picture here that we want to apply uh, camera shake to, right? It's just a picture of um, a bunch of pictures. Then we got our footage, which we just shot. So the idea is that we shot this footage here. It's just a shot with camera shake in it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna track this shot and then we're gonna apply that tracking data to that picture or to that shot that is shot on a tripod and it'll actually look like it, it was, you know, it's like it's video or like it was shot handheld. So I'm gonna grab our picture and bring it into a new comp here. What I'll do is I'll actually pre-comp the whole thing and uh, you can hit Control Shift C and move all attributes in the new composition Name it whatever the heck you want to name it. All right, so let's get to this effect. We have our picture, we have a pre-comped. Let's track our footage here. So I'm gonna drag our footage into new composition. Don't have to worry about pre-comping anything. And here's our footage. Okay, so let's track this. We're gonna go up here, motion tracking. We're gonna track motion. We're also going to track the rotation here. And we're also gonna track the scale because we're zooming in, right? So let's go in here and let's find some sweet tracking spots. I am going to set my resolution to full because you want all that resolution when you're tracking. This one here can go to the Coke bottle. So like the further your tracking points are away from each other, the better. Here, let's go right there. Let's bring that out a little bit. When you're tracking something, you want to look for areas of high contrast, black and white. So like for right here, like black and white. There's a black dot in this white circle. The program can easily see the contrast, right? Or, or like over here, you have this black circle in the silver ring. So that's gonna track really well. Um, let's, let's hope. <laughs> I'm gonna hit track forward, see what happens, see what goes down. <sighs> Sometimes it helps pausing it and then going one frame at a time. If you guys want to go frame by frame, you can do page up and page down on the keyboard. Whoa, see, okay, it went off here. All right, so this one slips because of the camera is blurring out a little bit. So you might have to come in here and just do a little manual. If a dangling, you know what I mean? Yeah, if your track slips, don't worry about it. Just go frame by frame like I'm doing right now and make sure that it's sticking on the same points here. And you know the best part is, actually, like if your track is off a little bit, it's not that bad. Because you're not, remember, we're taking this, we're taking this camera data and we're putting it onto a picture. So no one's gonna know that the track is off because nothing is slipping. None of your elements are slipping. That's the best part. We can save this data by making a new null. All right, so you guys, if you hit Control, Alt, Shift, Y, you'll make a new null object here, or you can just go Layer, New, Null Object, boom. Still in our, our Motion Tracking tab, we'll go Edit Target, and you're gonna wanna target that null. Hit OK, hit Apply to the X and Y axis, boom. So now, we have this null object with all this tracking data. So if I hide our footage, you see the null, boom, zoom in, and then it's gonna zoom out, right? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take that null object. We're gonna forget about that footage we just tracked. We don't need it. Take that null object, we'll copy it, Control C. Go back into our picture composition here. Paste the null object. And then we're gonna parent, this is gonna be as easy as this. We're gonna parent the picture, right? To the null object, boom. And then it's gonna look like that, but Okay, so it's a little, it's not, not framed up right. Uh, we can fix a couple things. So if you wanna move the null object or move the like point where it's like zooming to, you can select all the position, scale and rotation keyframes by hitting U on the null object, bring them all up, 
clicking them, selecting them, and just dragging it over. Now it's going to take the picture with it, but then you can just move the picture back to wherever, and then we can scale it up a little bit because we can see those borders. Right, and then when you watch it, right on Charlie. Boom. Another thing we can do is add motion blur. Motion blur is so important. You always need motion blur. If there's any motion, then you need motion blur. So uh, for our picture layer, we're going to check the motion blur tab, and then we're gonna turn on motion blur for our entire composition. Boom. So how is this useful? So let's say that Charlie didn't like his picture. Why don't we just make this whole thing, Charlie? You can put a poster here, and then you go back into your other composition, and it'll all be tracked on and it'll stick perfectly. So you guys get the idea, like, you can put anything on that door. So you can take this quick tip, I don't know how quick this tip was, but you can take this tip and put it in your pocket. I hope that these will aid you and uh, in your filmmaking endeavors.